Hey guys, how you doing? It's uh, April 7th, 2010. I'm going to do a product uh, review on my backpack. Um, my brother and I are planning a backpack trip to the top of the Bighorn Mountains up to Bomber Peak this summer, and uh, we're kind of getting prepared for that. Um, I chose as my backpack the uh, Osprey backpack. It's the Aether 85, and uh, I would just like to do a product review uh, for a few minutes. I'm not going to go over the content so much. I'll do that in a later video. Um, I'm talking about what I'm going to have in here for a bug out situation. Um, the stuff I have in here now is more geared towards what I'm going to be using for the camping trip. When I get back, I'll probably end up rebuilding it for um, that type of situation. Um, God forbid it happens, but you never know, especially nowadays. Anyway, guys, um, this top part is the cap to the backpack, and uh, this is the Osprey Aether 85. Uh, it has 5,400 cubic inches. Um, again, this is the top. It has a zip on here. Unzip it there. It's got up here. Again, I'm not going to go over the contents, but uh, I do have some medical stuff, cayenne capsules, charcoal, uh, to make a porpoise if need be. Um, this can actually separate from the pack. Um, you can take this off and use it as a fanny pack to strap around here for a hike off the trail if you're just going away from camp for a few hours, which is, I like that feature to this backpack. Um, you can, uh, and you can see how big, if, if you actually fill this whole thing up, I mean, it's going to be, you could probably overfill this and get too much weight. I'm not going to pack more than probably 45, at most 50 pounds, and this will easily hold that. Um, also in here, the main compartment, uh, you have the water bladder right here, and the hose. You can take this out and uh, punch it through this hole here. It has a, a water hole you can off to your side to where you can take a drink as you're walking down the trail. Um, it's got uh, tightening straps where you can strap you know, once you're all loaded, you can strap your load down up here, here, and on the sides and the inside. They're strapped to hold your load so nothing is actually wobbling on you as you're going down the trail. And I like those features. It's got a side pocket here. Um, again, it's got the, the elastic. I keep my uh, water purifier on that side. Over here, it's got another one. We've got mosquito nets, hand warmers, candles, and a bunch of stuff in there. Uh, fire starters. Um, it's, this pack also has a, a zip, zipping feature that comes all the way down where the whole back of this opens up and you can get to your contents on the inside clear down to where you can get almost to the bottom of the pack. Um, again, you can unstrap all of these and actually go right to the top side of this bottom compartment to where you can have access to everything in your backpack. So you can do it through this, or you can get through the top here to your contents. Um, very nice backpack. And you can tell that um, this is quality. You can just tell by the stitching and how durable it is. They took care in making this and designing it. Um, this is another pouch on the outside. Got some rain gear, poncho, some stove and stuff like that in here. But again, I'll go over contents later. This gets strapped to this upper part here, so you can tighten the load down really tight. Um, straps going across, so you can get it tighter. All right, there's some straps on this bottom. They're loops, very, very durable loops. You can take your carabiners and hook them onto that, hook water bottles, whatever. Um, your hiking stick and strap onto there. Um, down low, you have your compartment down here. And this is actually for your sleeping bag, and I uh, have my, basically my whole bedroll is down at the bottom. And at this bottom part right here, underneath the very bottom, is, is uh, it's almost like a synthetic canvas. It's very durable and, and uh, water, water resistant. And uh, I like that. And then also, you could also use these straps down here to extend out and strap your tent. If you're not going to put it down in here or inside, you can actually strap a tent on down here. And these straps, you know, on here and cinch down tight. Um, 
I'm going to go ahead and try this on for you guys. Show you how it fits. This is very comfortable. I recommend doing your research. You know, guys, there's a lot out there. Uh, Gregory makes a good pack. Um, Kelty makes a good pack. My brother and I just, we decided both to go with the Osprey packs. Um, they're very, very well built and very comfortable. And these straps here, you pull them tight. You want a lot of that weight right there on your hips. Okay, and then it almost feels like there's nothing on you. You know, you'll tell, you know, when you're out hiking, but it's very comfortable. You've got the chest strap here. Okay, so you can adjust it on your waist. You can adjust it across the chest here. And again, I don't like these real tight. But, uh, so, and also, these two straps right here in the front, you can lift these and the load will actually fall away from your back if you lift those straps. And uh, you just pull them to get the load back tight up against you. And then also these straps here. You can actually raise and lower the backpack to fit your hips by these straps here. So and this fits me just, just about right. I tried it on my oldest daughter and, and we adjusted these and they almost fit her. You know, this is a large, so she's going to use a medium because she's pretty tall. She's going to be a tall girl. Anyway, um, another strap here you can hang something on. Um, do your research, guys. Um, this is a personal choice. Whatever fit, I recommend try stuff on. Um, and also, you can loosen this just by pulling these straps here, and it loosens it really nice. Okay. Very nice pack. I'm impressed with it. Um, it's got, uh, you know, the air, air hole, so you don't sweat to death on the back. It allows air to go in there. And it's got aluminum frame, wire frame on the outside, plus it's got a hard um, poly, it feels like. Pretty hard. Um, very lightweight. The belt is excellent. Comfortable. Again, this is the Osprey pack and it is the uh, Aether 85. Very nice pack. Kind of a nice looking pack too. I like the green. I don't know if I'm getting into the camo part of it. I don't know. I just like the green color. My brother's is a pretty pretty orange color. I like his too. I actually like the color, his color better. Um, but I'm just thinking kind of camouflage if you need to. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'm going to go over my contents in a bug out video uh, probably later. I don't know if it will be today. but And I appreciate you guys putting up the videos that uh, you know who you are about uh, bug out bag contents and things like that and expressing your ideas and how you feel about those situations. Anyway, guys, take care and uh, hope you have a good day. We'll talk to you later. God bless.